Hello everybody, this is The Time Project, and I am back with another video. How's everyone doing? Okay, so today I've decided to play Tetris. And I just wanted to show this off because Tetris was first released in 1984 in, so in the Soviet Union. This is what the original version of Tetris looked like on the Electronica 60. On the Electronica 60. So that's, that's really all I wanted to say. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be, I'm not going to be playing the oldest version of Tetris. I'll be playing the second oldest version of Tetris, the DOS game. It released in 1986. Now, the controls on this one are pretty goddamn weird, and they're hard to keep, and they're really hard to get a hold of. So, hopefully, hopefully, I, we can get it down, um. I think 10 is good enough. Enter. We'll start with zero. Okay. Now it's left is. Now eight is rotate. And nine is um, right. Seven is left. So I'm going to use. I use the number. I use the uh, number pad on the uh, com on the computer for this. But it's really weird. It's it's so it's so weird to um, it's just so weird to play. You can do four for a drop, but it's pretty risky. Also, like the controls are so weird. It's better to just it's be they're not as fluid as you'd hope. Um, I guess another thing is uh, this version does not tell you what piece is next, or does it? You know, maybe it does, but this emulator, but I wouldn't be surprised if this emulator doesn't because of how, um, because of how weird these emulators can be. Um, yeah. Oh, great, this one. I'm going to put it here. Um... So yeah, that's about it. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a bit of a, that move is a bit more advanced. It's not really that hard to do, but it takes a bit more skill to pull off than usual. Um, is it actually going faster or am I just imagining it? Okay. Okay, six. Okay, six is speed up. I was not aware of that. Let's see if I can get an actual Tetris. That'd be nice. Um, yeah, I kind of ran out of commentary. I mean, I talked a lot about the game. I don't know. I'm eventually me doing like eventually me doing the. Um, I mean, eventually me doing the um, four drop is gonna really screw me. One of the was eventually gonna really screw with me. But, eh, who cares, really? Um, it's just, it's just so easy to miss, to, like, misclick on one of these. And I'm actually gonna do a risk. I'm gonna put it there. Because I want to do a Tetris. Okay, that's... This, this is gonna be a bit of a risk. I can already see that. And I already... And I already have the ability to do the Tetris. Um, it's kind of nice. I haven't really been talking about much lately, so I guess I'll find I guess I'll find something to talk about. Um, so, well, I already had my first clear hole. That's that's really gonna mess with me. Yeah, I see how you see how wonky this can get. And we're already missing a bunch of holes. Damn it. Going for the Tetris really fucked me over, didn't it? Oh god. Yep. See, that's the problem. There we go. There's the Tetris. I fucked myself real hard trying to get that. I'm gonna see if I can recover from this because it's this isn't like the worst case scenario we can have. 
Um, So, um, I actually kind of asked, well, while I'm playing this, I actually kind of, like, thought of a question today. So, uh, people, so, I mean, it's kind of become, like, um, well, it's kind of a meme, but at the same time, it is pretty much true. So, you pretty much know the whole thing about how every U.S. president is a war criminal, right? Like, pretty much all of them. I mean, particularly the ones after World War II, and probably some of the ones before that. And probably some of the ones before that too. Um, okay, I pressed the eight. I pressed eight. How did that not work? Whatever. Yeah, I think I think this round's as good as as good as gone because holy shit. Okay. Wow, that did not actually do anything. And now I have just screwed. I have epically screwed myself over now. And it's done. <sighs> well, it could have been worse, considering how weird the controls are. Six minutes in. All right. So, um, anyway, on that question, I was wondering which of the um, presidents would be considered the worst of the war criminals. Um, I'm actually gonna go with four. Like, who would be the worst, pre war, the biggest war criminal in U.S. history? And I kind of thought about it for a bit. Um, I think the pretty, and I think like the pretty definitive answer would be George W. Bush because of the whole like, I mean, Iraq War. Like, that's kind of like, I mean, <laughs> that was like really bad. I mean, it's 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 especially bad because for most presidents, you can argue that they inherited stuff. But George W. Bush, yeah, the Iraq War that was just entirely his doing. Like he like that was entirely the doing of the Bush administration, um, as was a lot of stuff. I understand it was a very tough time, but like, geez, he really did fail epically. Okay, I'm already I'm already fucking up. Um, so, so I think that's the pretty obvious, like, worst war criminal in, in U.S. history, but I guess, like, who the second worst would be, and honestly, because of his, like, insane bombing of, uh, Cambodia, I am going to go with Richard Nixon as the second worst war criminal in U.S. history. In, because, because, like, that bombing of, like, that was a, because that was really bad, that uh, bombing of his. Um, oh, great. You see, this is the problem with pressing the four key. You accidentally, like, mistake it for, like, an actual, like, one of the other keys and you fuck up. All right. I'm actually going to try nine for a bit to see how long I can last. Okay. Jesus Christ. I can't even, like, <laughs> that didn't last long at all. Man, they, they fall so fast. Okay. I'm not sure who the biggest... I'm not sure who the third worst war criminal in U.S. history would be. I mean, these would pretty much all be after World War II because that's when our foreign policy got, like, extremely brutal, like, after World War II. And maybe there were some foreign policies that were brutal before then, but it was mainly, like, post-World War II when we really started to lose our fucking... when America usually mostly started to lose its fucking mind. Okay, so you can't type in, like, a number higher than nine. Well, at least not like normally, maybe you can hack it or something. Um, I'm not sure. I have some answers. Um, I guess Lyndon B. Johnson was really bad too, because like the whole like Vietnam and Laos and just continuously escalating there, like that was probably pretty bad. Um, 
I guess you could also put Donald Trump at maybe number three, be, at maybe another uh, candidate for number three. Oh, did I accidentally put it like there? I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, who cares? Um, I guess you could put like um, Donald Trump at number three or Lyndon B. Johnson or maybe Ronald Reagan because of his like, oh my God, I keep accidentally pressing um, like the four. Okay. I guess Ronald Reagan too, because he did a lot of really bad shit in Latin America too. But I think, I think the shit that Nixon did was worse. I don't know. Or maybe, maybe Obama, because like he was pretty bad. He was a lot. He was pretty bad on foreign policy too. Um, in terms of like being just a hawkish warmonger. Um, there's so many choices, really. Who who. I know it's a useless debate, but if anybody knows more about history, feel free. Who do you think is, who do you think would be number three? Oh, I forgot Harry Truman. He dropped the uh, bomb. He dropped the nuclear bomb, which I mean, and also basically what he was kind of like the start of the whole like hardline stance against communism of, of the U.S. That I mean, FDR kind of had maybe, but like, oh my God, I accidentally. Okay, it's probably a combination of weird controls and me just plain sucking at the goddamn game. Um, so please comment below who is the who would be after like Nixon and Bush for me because there's a few choices. Um, Anyway, on conversations that actually matter, um, this is probably going to be the last game that I play that's before the original Super Mario Brothers, and there's going to be kind of a reason for that. Like, okay, the main reason is, like, the main, like, the main reason is that I don't want to, like, do, like, arcade games forever. Like, obviously, like, I think this was a pretty interesting experience. Like, it has basically made me a bit more knowledgeable about old games. I mean, I pretty much ha was familiar with all these games, like, beforehand, but now I guess recording myself doing them, I'm extra familiar with them now. And you probably, and maybe some of you learn, I mean, I know my audience, so you probably already knew about most of these games, but maybe you, but for anybody who didn't, I guess you got a little lesson in history, I guess, maybe, I don't know. Whatever you want to consider it. Um, so yeah, I think that's like the last game I'm going to play before the original Super Mario Brothers. I'll probably do like old arcade games after this because like there's obviously a lot of like, like ports or collections of arcade games that like are some of the ones that I missed because obviously there were a lot of arcade games that I did miss, and I'm sure some of you may have been upset that I did not that I did not play some of them. But I mean, I, I don't want to do like this whole man. I'm really sucking at the game, Jesus. I don't want to do this whole like. Um... Oh man, that was even worse than I was planning. All right, let's just let's just fail. Um. Like, there's probably going to be some that I... Oh my, I, I really failed there. There's probably going to be some arcade games I'm going to play eventually, like, after the um, arcade ports that I'm going to play after or arcade collections of some of the games that I did miss, and I'm sure some of you are mad about. But I don't want to... But, like, I don't want to spend, like, forever on arcade games. I want to do, like, some of the stuff that people are actually more familiar with. Um, so, hopefully you're not too mad. Um... Hopefully, hopefully you can understand that, um, if I missed your favorite arcade, if I'm, if there were one, one of the arcade, big arcade games that I missed, um, oh my god, that was not what I would, okay. I really fucked up there, didn't I? Damn. Well, we can pull it back together again, let's see what we can do.
Uh. Now I've ran out of commentary. Ah. <laughs> um. I think I'm not sure how long the videos are going to be after this. Um, because like once I'm done with uh, the original, because once I'm done with the, because once I start playing the original Super Mario, oh man, that was not. Oh god. Okay. You know what? Because I'm not sure what I'm. I'm not sure how long the videos are going to be after this. Like I don't think I'm gonna. Because Super Mario Brothers isn't as hard as Pac Land, so I might actually like make the videos shorter or longer. I'm not sure. I'll see. I'll see what happens. Um, but as for now, that's pretty much all there is to say. Um, I really enjoyed. I kind. I really enjoyed playing through some of these old games, even if um. Recording a lot of them gave me a headache, but yeah, I think it was a pretty good experience, and I'll, I'm happy to, and I'm happy to always, and I think there were a lot of games that I played through on this channel that many of you that um, that there aren't many like actual gameplay videos of of people commentating over them. So yeah, that's really all there is to say, isn't there? Um, I I really had bad commentary this time. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'll, I'm not sure if the Super Mario Brothers, uh, original Mario, Super Mario Brothers video is going to start tomorrow, or it's going to be uploaded tomorrow, we'll see. Um, but either way, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, we are at 17 minutes, a long time of me playing Tetris, so that's it for this video, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I'll see you in the next one. This is the Time Project. Goodbye.